Hello, Owen Beauties and Marinis, and welcome back to this crazy family on YouTube. Today, we're going to be going through our makeup collection and doing a serious, serious declutter. The things that I'm getting rid of that I don't think any of it's or too much of it is expired, so I'm just gonna put it in this box and just give whatever I'm not gonna use to my sister and my mom. So let's just start. So this is my makeup bag. And I got this because I was like, this is a reasonable size. If I have more than this, I have way too much. So as you can see, it doesn't even freaking all fit. And how it's organized. Oh, geez. Stuff's already falling out. This is the lip products, the face products, the eye products. And there's definitely been some things in here that I... I just don't ever use it's not that they're bad products it's just i don't some of them are not just they're just not bad products it's just i don't really use them to kind of clarify on my makeup i this is like what i wear on like a day-to-day -day basis like with work very like neutral not that much the only thing i did differently for this is that i put on some lipstick before the gloss and i put some foundation on but other than that like the when i go to work i just put a um a liquid eyeshadow on highlighter highlighter my highlighter is already dissipated um like two seconds of eyeliner mascara lip gloss out the door um that's literally it so <laughs> To have all of this is a little bit of overkill. Um, I mean, some of it I'm gonna keep because I just love playing with it, you know? But just to kind of clarify on where my brain is at. So the first thing is this LA Colors lipstick. And I did have a makeup wipe. This I'm gonna get rid of because it's definitely expired. I did really enjoy my time with it because this shade is amazing because it goes with everything. You just throw on a lip gloss done so i did really like this this is in the shade xoxo i did really like it like it would look amazing with this look it's just definitely expired so that's gonna hit the bin this is my most recent um one this is the nyx butter gloss like i literally haven't even worn it yet i just watched it for videos but it does feel very, very smooth and soft. So I think it will be amazing. I don't have any brown glosses. So we'll see how much I use it. I really don't like these applicators. I find them very rough and hard. But we'll see how much I use that one. I did also just get this LA Girl Lip Oil very recently and I use it all the time. It's what I'm wearing on top of the lipsticks right now. Um, it does have a doe foot applicator and a watermelon scent. And it is very nourishing, so I love it. I have very, very dry lips, so I'm a lip gloss girl. The next, this is the Smashbox Black Cherry Lipstick. This one, it's okay. It's fine. I like the color. I just never ever wear it. I think my sister will get more use out of it than I will. I just don't ever use it. I do like the color, that it is like a genuine black cherry color, but I just don't ever use it. So this one's gonna be the first one in the bin. I really do like the packaging also. The next one, this is the Jeffree Star Lip Balm. I, someone gave this to me. They got it in one of his mystery boxes and it was a brown, so they were never gonna use it, they said. I like it because it, it, it's just like a light brown, but it can you can build it up. And it looks really pretty with like a red lipstick. So like outer, doing like one coat of this and then like a red in the center of the lips looks super super cute i don't think it's the most hydrating thing ever it's it's okay i wouldn't necessarily say it's hydrating but i do enjoy the color and you can definitely get some cute looks out of this so i'm going to keep it for that reason the next one this is the essence lipstick in the shade charming 
I, I think it goes on it very smoothly. I just never use this color. I did just get it. I'll see if I actually use it. I'm gonna give it a chance. The next one is this Kylie Jenner lipstick. Me, 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 me. I, I think it's okay, honestly. It's okay. Um, before this video, I did swatch both the Kylie and the Essence because this is the Essence, this is the Kylie. So they're two very similar shades. And I like the Kylie color better, but I like the feeling of the Charming better. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of the essence. Keep the Kylie. I, I've had it for a while. I never really reach for it. I also though have this um, Juvia's Place liquid lipstick. It's a large dofa applicator. And that's this shade. So more orangey, but I would use it for the same thing, the same looks as the Kylie. So I think I'm gonna keep the Juvia's Place, get rid of the Kylie. The next one, this is the Becca Scarlet lipstick. It's the only red one I have, I think. And that's the shade. It goes on the lips looking a lot more sheer. It looks pretty ready on my hand but it goes on very sheer on your lips so but i do use it all the time so can i keep this the next one is the luna by luna lip gloss i'm sorry if i'm going quick we just have a lot to go through so i'm like let's go let's go the next one is this luna by luna lip gloss it's like an orangey nude but it has gold flecks let me put it and i do like the formula on this and i use lip glosses all the time so i am going to keep this one it's not my favorite lip gloss of all time like if i had to recommend a lip gloss i would do the la colors or the nyx i i mean if i had to do one i would do the la colors but i like these ones better than this one so if I, and I don't ever reach for it, so if I still don't reach for it by the next declutter, I'm gonna declutter it. And then two more, this is the Beauty Bakery lipstick. This is in the color on the box. This is the shade. Okay. That's the shade, like a, bricky pink <laughs> i just think that i never reach for it i just never reach for it uh, okay so i think between i think the charming one looks similar to this one it's just lighter Hmm. I think I wore this one and I just felt meh about it. I think I should keep a pinky one though. Because looking back, we're at the end and I haven't kept any pink ones. <sighs> Let me wipe off what I have right now. Oh. Okay. 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 So this is the essence. It's just so light you can't even see it is the problem I have. And then this is the beauty bakery. Oh, this one smells weird. 
Ugh, definitely getting rid of the Beauty Bakery. And I think the Charmin because I just you just can't see it. I don't think it really does anything. So, ugh. Yeah, that Beauty Bakery one smells weird. Let's try this next because I've never actually worn it. Ooh, that goes on very smooth, very smooth. And it is a lot more pigmented than I thought it would be. I thought it would be just like a tint of brown, but that's pretty brown. I wonder how it would look with some red. But, hmm, okay. So, these are all the lipsticks and lip glosses that I'm keeping. The Luna by Luna Gloss, the Becca lipstick, Becca lipstick, the Juvia's Place liquid lipstick, the LA Color um, lip oil lipstick, and the NYX lip gloss. And then we got four, we got, we kept four lipsticks and lip glosses. Or no, we kept, we kept five, we got rid of four. So I think that's fair. The next, oh geez, I had this one, I, I missed this one. And this is the NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in, ooh, okay. I'm gonna keep that as well. It's a similar shade as that um, Smashbox one, but I like the formula on this one. The Smashbox was just kind of okay. So I think out of the face one, I'm probably gonna keep more just because it has more variety on what it does than the lips, you know? Okay, so let me... Wipe off my hand. Okay, so this is the LA Colors um, foundation I got at the Dollar Tree. It's what I have on... I honestly just put on my under eyes. Um, and it looks fine, so I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Becca's Ultimate Coverage. It is a very full coverage foundation. And I just feel like for me, I'm pretty light coverage. I like a thick coverage on the under eyes. This is just kind of not what I'm personally looking for. It's just a little too heavy for my personal dry, dry, dry skin. So I definitely understand why people like it, but not for me and my skin. The next one is the Wonder Beauty. This is um the Lip and Cheek Duo. I literally never use this chapstick. It's just kind of okay. And then it does have that little mirror. I use this sometimes. It's just so pink. It can be hard to kind of like match it with looks. As you can kind of see like it's just super super barbie pink it looks cute it's just kind of hard to match it to looks but i do sometimes use it so i am gonna keep it oh i missed the the next one this is the bella pierre setting spray i do use this so i'm gonna keep it let me actually put blush on my other side of my face so my face looks cohesive Sorry, <laughs> make a break real quick. Oh jeez, I think I put too much. That's okay. It'll it'll sink into the skin. It'll sink into the skin. Okay. The next one. This is the Tarte blush, and I do like this one. It's a pretty like peachy color i like this i'm a very like l cream blush person but i think this is really nice to put over your cream one to really lock it in so that's what i use it for the next one this is the la colors concealing correct i'm not gonna swatch it literally is what it is i really like this for on the under eyes definitely gets rid of a little bit of the the zombie look the next thing this is the j cats Beauty Love Struck Blush and Bronzer. I did just get this in a haul and honestly, I'm already gonna declutter it. It's just very powdery, very, very powdery. 
You know what though? I think that tart one might be expired. <sighs> I think it is, honestly. I think it is. I don't know. I need to get better at like putting like labels on my makeup. Okay. I'm gonna keep this one until I get a different powder blush to switch it out with. I'm gonna get rid of this one just in case it is expired. Safety first. This is the Grande Glow Plumping Liquid Highlighter. You can see, I did, I have genuinely tried this. I just don't think it's my favorite liquid highlighter, honestly. See, now it looks cute. I don't know. I just feel like sometimes I have problems with it. Okay, we will keep this on. It's having a good day. The next one, this is the Blush on Cheek Stick by McGee. Is it McGee? No. Mako Beauty. There it is. The only thing I wish it was, I wish it was a little thinner. It's just so thick. I mean, it's literally your whole face, but I am gonna keep this. I think it would be pretty also to do like a liquid. Um, the liquid that I do on my eyes in the morning is glittery. So I think this would be nice in conjunction with that. So it's just not like glitter chaos, but I will keep using that. I don't really reach for this one to be honest. So if I don't use it for the morning, I'll rethink if I want to pass that on. The next one, this is the Peak Liquid Blush. This is the blush I use the most just because it is so wearable. And this one blends really well. I mean, it just blends like a dream. So yeah, this is definitely the one I use the most and I really, really enjoy it. So definitely gonna be keeping this one. I have a lip gloss in here because <laughs> it's on the right area. This is the Makalo. This is Ola Neon in the shade Kala. This is a tinted lip balm. I love this, use it all the time. Gonna keep this and put it in the right category. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay, since I am actually, since I'm keeping, oh, okay, geez. Never mind. we're gonna move on. Um, moving on. The next thing, this is the She Glam Skin Primer. I've been thinking if I wanna get rid of it or not. I just don't really see a difference with it. think about it and then I just have some sunscreen from the Dollar Tree okay so the only thing we I got rid of was the foundation and the Becca foundation in the Tarte blush and then kind of am thinking about what I want to do with this one just because I just don't really reach for it to be honest I think I just forget I have it is the biggest one. Okay. The last group is the eyes. Let's go through this. Okay. Oh, geez. This is not even in the right group again. This is the Bite Size Face Duo from e.l.f. Since I have this one, and I now remember I have this one, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I think the color is really pretty. It's this one right here. It's just so powdery that I, it just makes a mess and just ruins your whole makeup experience. So I'm going to keep this e.l.f. one. This is a blush and highlighter duo. 
it doesn't swatch very well but it does look nice on the face which is the part that matters so we're gonna keep that one the next this is the elf by size i don't know i have um a single i i have an eyeshadow stick with green that i use more like i just got this i just don't know if i'm actually going to use it because i have a green eyeshadow stick that i use for all my green looks and i love it the only thing that i'm really hesitant on is i really love this green glitter it is so pretty look at that I just don't think I'm ever gonna reach for this because I have that green one that I use. So gonna be decluttering that one as well. The next thing, this is the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow base. Honestly, I think it does the same thing as just sticking concealer on your eye, but since I have this, I might as well just use it up. Let's put... The next one, this is the Cab cosmetics i don't know if you say cab or cab but i do use this one quite a bit and it's the only eyeshadow palette that i have with a mirror and i don't just have a freestanding mirror so a uh, mirror so i do use it all the time this is such a versatile palette i really really highly recommend the glitters are stunning and the mattes are stunning it's the only palette i've ever had where i like the mattes and the glitters 